A powerful new radar in China's Yunnan province is now watching every move across India, tracking missile launches in real time from over 5,000 kilometers away. This isn't science fiction, it's a strategic leap that could tip the balance of power in Asia. With the ability to monitor hypersonic weapons, jam communications, and expose even nuclear missile tests, China's latest phased array radar isn't just about defense, it's about dominance. In this video, we uncover how it works, why it matters, and what it means for the entire region. China's new Large Phased Array Radar, or LPR, isn't just big, it's transformative. Built in Yunnan province, this radar stretches surveillance capabilities thousands of kilometers into South Asia, locking its gaze firmly on India's key missile testing grounds and naval territories. So what exactly is this system? It's a fixed installation, likely carved into the mountains near the China-Myanmar border. Unlike traditional radars that mechanically rotate to scan their surroundings, phased array radars use electronically controlled beams to scan vast areas almost instantly. Think of it like a lighthouse, but instead of turning slowly, it shines its light in every direction at once. What makes this LPR especially concerning is its sheer range, 5,000 kilometers. That covers all of India, including its key launch site at Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Island on the eastern coast, where India tests long-range ballistic missiles like the Agni-V and submarine-launched weapons like the K-4. China can now monitor all of that in real time. But it doesn't stop at missiles. PARs are also useful in electronic warfare. They can potentially jam or interfere with communication systems, everything from GPS to military radio channels to aviation navigation. This turns the radar from a silent observer into a strategic disruptor. What's more, this radar is under the control of Base 37, a specialized unit of the People's Liberation Army Aerospace Force that manages early missile warning and space object tracking. This base isn't new to high-tech operations, it's the nerve center of China's deep space monitoring and surveillance systems. What China is doing here is clear, building a wall of radar coverage that extends across all possible launch directions. With radar stations already in Xinjiang and Korla watching India's northern border, the Yunnan LPR completes the picture, granting China visibility over the Indian Ocean and Bay of Bengal. Now let's talk about what this means for India, and why Indian security officials are sounding the alarm. India's nuclear deterrent has long relied on one critical element, ambiguity. When India tests its intercontinental ballistic missiles like the Igni-V, or its submarine-launched K-series missiles, it needs secrecy. Every successful test adds weight to its deterrence, projecting strength to both adversaries and allies. But if those tests can now be observed, measured, and analyzed in real time by an adversary, that deterrence begins to erode. This radar sees everything. Indian officials say that China now has the ability to not only detect launches, but to analyze missile performance, flight characteristics, and reentry trajectories. That's a treasure trove of data for military analysts, especially when it comes to nuclear payloads. It gets worse. The radar's location gives China visibility into India's eastern front and its maritime corridors. That includes the Bay of Bengal and the Malacca Strait two regions that are vital for India's naval movements and international trade. If China integrates this radar with its satellite surveillance and maritime tracking systems, it essentially gets a live feed of India's most sensitive military activity. And it's not just India that should be worried. The expanded surveillance net also brushes against Southeast Asia, giving China a bird's-eye view of American and allied military activity in the Indo-Pacific. India, of course, has its own radar systems. The DRDO-developed Swordfish radar can track long-range ballistic missiles and is part of India's Ballistic Missile Defense BMD, program. But it doesn't operate with the same geographic advantage or the same integration across multiple stations that China is building. In this asymmetric game of early warning, China has taken a giant step forward. And this shift in balance forces India into a reactive position. It must now assume that every launch, every test, and possibly every strategic movement is being observed, recorded, and analyzed. The room for error, and for secrecy, is shrinking fast. So how did China pull this off? And what's so advanced about this new radar system compared to everything we've seen before? 
Let's rewind to a recent weapons test deep in China's Gobi Desert. There, the People's Liberation Army conducted a jaw-dropping live-fire demonstration. Sixteen ballistic missiles were launched simultaneously at a single target zone. This wasn't just for show, it was a stress test for China's new radar. And the result? Every single missile was detected, tracked, and neutralized in the simulation. Even more impressive, the radar successfully differentiated between 31 decoys and secondary targets while locking on to seven high-priority threats in real time. That kind of precision is the stuff of science fiction for most countries. For China, it's now operational. What makes this possible is the radar's dual-band nature. It combines the wide-scanning power of S-band frequencies with the high-resolution targeting capabilities of X-band radar. In essence, the radar can see far and fine at the same time, an ability that's extremely difficult to build and even harder to calibrate. This system is comparable in complexity to the U.S. Navy's USNS Howard O. Lorenzen, an elite missile tracking ship capable of watching over 1,000 targets simultaneously. But unlike the U.S., which hasn't showcased such live-fire performance publicly, China just put its capabilities on full display. This isn't about defense anymore. It's about control. With these systems, China is building the framework for a future where hypersonic missiles, ballistic threats, and even space-based weapons can be tracked and countered before they reach their targets. It's laying the groundwork for an anti-access, area denial strategy that extends not just across land and sea, but into the skies and beyond. What's perhaps most revealing is the political messaging behind all of this. In President Xi Jinping's Lunar New Year address to the military, this radar and others were featured prominently, surrounded by representatives from the Army, Navy, Air Force, and Aerospace Divisions. The symbolism is clear. This technology isn't just military hardware, it's national pride, strategic posture, and a declaration of readiness on all fronts. So, what have we uncovered here? This radar is more than metal, circuits, and antennas. It's a symbol of a shifting balance of power in Asia, one that gives China not just a defensive edge, but a strategic advantage over adversaries like India. By combining massive range, lightning-fast tracking, and advanced threat discrimination, China's Yunnan radar has turned the act of watching into a weapon. And it's just one piece in a growing network of sensors, satellites, and surveillance tools that could redefine warfare as we know it. India now faces the challenge of operating in a theater where every move might already be seen. And for the rest of the world, the message is clear. In the age of high-speed missiles and hypersonic threats, whoever sees first, wins. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.